So we've got four minutes for this interview, and that'll probably take that long for you to explain what the earth was going on. <laughs> I can't remember. I'm not sure. Myself, yeah. <laughs> is the toff so cool? is yeah. the toff with the whiskers one of the suspects in the, uh, in the Jack the Ripper inquiry? Not directly related to Jack the Ripper, but he's a he's a. Yeah, he's Which not is a good why guy. it's complicated. And yeah. the fact yeah. that you're in a, a sort of prize bare knuckle fight mm. has actually got nothing to do with the main <laughs> investigation of the story, but it's another part, different investigation that you're both running. Exactly. Yeah, yeah we're trying to catch somebody. Yes. Who's doing, it's not so got much some a, dodgy notes. Yes. It's a strange one because it's not so much a ripper, it's not a sort of Hunt the Ripper story, a rehashing of that. It's more that those Whitechapel murders sort of underscore. The story of the you know the, the drama of the week or the drama of the and episode. and the fight uh, you know in the, in those kind of subplots are really telling a story of a pretty kind of grim rough East End at the time aren't they that's that's kind of partly what they're you know they're yeah. setting this incredible scene yeah. yeah and I think it I think it was I think London in the 1890s was a pretty lawless Scary place, place yeah. still very we're policing good. a very small area really it's like a a mile and a quarter, mm. you know. And the police and, uh, were not, it was a relatively new institution, so you didn't, didn't have the same power, if you like, respect, influence, mm. than oh, yeah. that they do now. No, or the same methods. No. Um, we were finding out as we went along, which was also what make it, made it very violent. It's very raw, and uh, you didn't, um, on the edge. It is very violent, actually, yeah. isn't it, the, the programme? Um, it was, I mean, it, it feels like it. This, it yeah, you're very violent. He's quite violent. People. He's yeah. reasonably He's gentle. Butch. He's yeah. intellectual. Yeah. 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 But people weren't confident that they had come to an end. Of course, That's we right, now yeah. know that they had. So other things happened, and there was a lot of fear in yeah. London about whether Jack the Ripper had, was was back. Yeah, there's a terrible kind of, and it works brilliantly for this drama because there's a terrible unsettling. You know, there's an awful unease about those murders. So everyone's on a knife's mm. edge. Everyone's on tenterhooks, expecting him to strike again, and. Um, so, yeah, it works very well for this. Because there were a, a number of murders, the Whitechapel murders, only perhaps some of them actually believe now to have been committed by Jack the Ripper anyway. And there is yeah. just an awful lot of mystery, an awful lot of intrigue and confusion about that whole time and, and, and yeah. why he was never found. I know. It was, it's, it's very interesting. From a, you know, the, and I think they, would have, they thought of themselves as very modern people, you know, and certainly Victorians were on the brink of huge advances in medicine and science and, you know, yeah. and forensics and all that stuff. So in many ways, these policemen were stumbling around in the dark, you know, and if they'd had, you know, just rudimentary for forensics, they perhaps would have found him and, you know. It's so. a, um, in a sense, it's a sort of, it's a, it's a your standard cop drama, just sort of set in Victoria times. Is exactly, it, yeah. Is it more fun playing in, in costume in sort of a period piece drama? I th it was lovely to go back there. I mean, I haven't done many period dramas myself, but also the language is slightly different. It's kind of leaning towards something Shakespearean. It's More three-syllable words. Yeah, wonderfully written by Richard Waller. And uh, he's also the, the richness of the characters and of, of London life at that time is very well depicted. And it, so it's one of the reasons I, I, I took the job. It's very, yeah, it's a very rich kind of tapestry to, mm. to play out that drama. Is it, um, th we were given uh, two episodes, is it just a two-part drama or is this going to be a longer series? Is this a, a number of, because it feels it's, like um, these, you, you really kind of connect with these characters, these police officers. Yeah, it's a good, it's a nice sort of triumvirate of the three of us. So I think the, there's a great story arc that goes on and we've got eight episodes. Eight, and hopefully, okay. Hopefully some more. Mm. Yeah. yeah. And it, they stand alone, is it, the, is, does Ripper theme sort of run through them? Is he always sort of lurking around? Well, that's, that's as Matthew said, that's the wonderful, it's like a constant cliffhanger. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Underlying, because he's, he's never caught. In a way, that's still, it's still reverberating in the culture now. It's yeah. still, um, yeah. um, but each episode has its own storyline, and then there's, there's our characters and yeah. the women we were involved with. We look forward to watching them all.
Thank you both Enjoy. very much. Yeah. Thank you very much. Lovely to see you both. Ripper Street starts on Sunday, December the 30th on BBC One at 9 o'clock.